cats. No, I'm not an angry Italian. It's the theme of this vlog. When I first became a yacht broker back in 2006, it seemed almost impossible to sell a catamaran. Nobody wanted them. Now though, it seems that just about every yacht builder is considering large catamarans as a viable product for yacht lovers. We'll be looking at just a few of them now. And at the end of this video, I'll be telling you what this is all about. Multi-hull super yachts like the crazy Asian lady have had a bit of a slow start in the yachting industry. In fact, out of the more than 5,530 meter plus super yachts in the global fleet, only about 72 are catamarans. But we've recently seen a wave of radical cat concepts and new build projects from across the global industry. Not only do catamarans offer a spacious interior configuration and massive decks, which make them great support yachts, they also come with the benefits of reduced drag and more options for solar paneling that a lot of shipyards are turning to for their sustainability benefits. Here, we give a rundown of some of the coolest catamarans out in the industry. One of the biggest names in the large scale catamaran scene is Shadowcat from Astilleros Armon and Incat Crowther in Spain. Now built as shadow vessels to carry tenders, toys, crew, and sometimes guests, the Shadow Cats are serious ocean utility vessels with massive volumes and some crazy toys. The first in the series was the iconic 66 meter Hodor, built to support the 87 meter fed ship super yacht Lonian, which launched in 2019 and made a wave when she first debuted in the industry. Hodor has a dark gray hull with orange stripes that are matched by all of her tenders and toys that include a 17 meter chase boat with four high performance seven marine outboard engines, an EC-145 helicopter, two quad bikes, a speedboat, four other tenders, jet skis, and on top of that, a scuba compression chamber, a hospital, and enough space for 20 crew. All in all, Hodor is a power machine with two cranes on our after deck and enough space to carry five tenders and leave room for the helipad. After Hodor, Shadowcat launched Wayfinder in 2021 and then Nebula in 2022. While big catamarans have been their bread and butter, this year they've unveiled a 24 meter concept in collaboration with the submarine builder Triton. The punchy all-rounder has a launch and recovery A-frame crane on her aft deck, designed to lift a sub out of the water. In April, the duo then unveiled a 50-meter version in collaboration with Tilburg Design of Sweden that can launch and recover Triton's larger sub-series, as well as host a crew of 10 and a helicopter. Before we move on to the next builder, I really must say a very big thank you to Super Yacht Times. I've always wanted this channel to be more than just a channel showing you yachts that are for sale. I also wanted to be able to keep viewers up to date with what's going on in the industry. And Super Yacht Times have their fingers so closely on the pulse of the Super Yacht industry, it makes them the natural partner in helping me to prepare information like this with all the images, all the information that I can give to you. As a matter of fact, I'll be linking to a Super Yacht Times video at the end of this video, and there's also a link to their website in the description below. A relative newcomer to the catamaran scene is the Australian shipyard, Silver Yachts which has just delivered its first catamaran as part of its new Space Cat series. The 36 meter super yacht has been designed by Espen Oeno and features the shipyard's characteristic silver hull and rugged aesthetics. Designed as a more environmentally friendly option, the yacht has a lightweight, low resistance hull form and is expected to hit top speeds of more than 20 knots. Let's take a look now in Italy though, where a couple of very different cats are currently in build. 
One of the coolest new catamarans comes from the Technomar shipyard in Italy. Designed with input from lateral naval architects, the 44-metre project Innovation is set to be one of the most radical catamarans in the global fleet when she's launched in 2023. With geometric exterior lines and a reimagination of interior-exterior spaces, she is also the first multi-hull from this Italian builder. Another very different project is the 46-metre Art Explorer from Admiral Yachts. Like Project Innovation, not much is known about this project, which is being built as a floating art museum. According to her owner, the concept was born from the aim to bring art to people and to share the chance for everybody to be exposed to art. Art Explorer is due to make a world tour, with a central hall displaying an ever-changing digital art exhibition. Turning now to Rossi Navi. This year, the Italian shipyard released two catamaran concepts showing a serious investment in multi-hulls for the historically mono-hull builder. First up was the 42-metre Seacat 40, with its angular design and flowing lines. This catamaran is the first of its kind for Rossi Navi and is equipped with 135 square meters of solar panels, claimed to generate up to 250 kilowatts of energy per hour. Second up was the 44 meter Oneric from Zaha Hadid Architects, which gives a totally different take on the multi-hull concept, but which is packed full of eco-focused solutions. To put a cherry on the multi-hull movement for Rossi Navi, the shipyard announced the sale of the first Seacat 40 this September, with a yacht due for delivery in 2024. There's also a growing fleet of catamarans in the sub 30 meter sector, with silent yachts, Sunreef, and Wider, all building smaller catamarans that appeal to a very different yacht owner. Silent Yachts is offering full electric and hybrid models, and in September, the shipyard announced that the first 36 meter Silent 120 is now in build. The yard that really dominates the catamaran scene, and that has done so for more than a decade, is the Polish shipyard Sunreef. Now, Superyacht Times dedicated an entire video to this shipyard and took a deep dive into its exciting new updates, so make sure to check that out. A link will be at the end of this video. Well, at the beginning of this video, I showed you a brief flash of me in a bathtub. And that's because in the weeks leading up to Christmas, my team and I had an insane travel schedule filming some of the best yachts that we have ever filmed, including this. the 191-foot Trinity Yacht Unbridled. We've already filmed that once in a boat show, but it's such an extraordinary charter yacht that I wanted to produce an amazing charter video for it. We hired a seaplane, we interviewed the chef and sampled their cuisine. I was taught how to go diving, and I actually went diving with the sharks. We wanted this to be the greatest charter video ever produced, and it will be published this Sunday. I'll put a link to that video in the description below as soon as it's available, but I should tell you that that video will be on the Yachts for Charter YouTube channel, not on this channel, the Yachts for Sale channel. So in the meantime, why don't you go over to the Yachts for Charter channel, subscribe to it, click the bell icon so you get a notification because the video that we produced of Trinity is absolutely sensational. You won't want to miss out on it.